Welcome to Draw Tip Tuesday! In last week's video, I drew something on a watercolor background wash and I promised you to show how to make that wash. So today we need a brush, water and watercolors. I'm using watercolors from tubes today, but if you have a set with watercolor pens in it, of course you can use that. Get your colors ready and dip your brush into the water. You can use quite a lot of water because you're making a wash and for that you don't need very dense colors. Then start mixing your paint into the color you like. Here I'm mixing yellow and red to make orange. Then start applying your mix onto your paper. As you go you can add more color or more water, create areas with different colors that flow into each other and move your paint around as it lies on your paper in a pool. I like keeping a few gaps of white as well. Play around to see what works. Watercolor paint will dry up a bit lighter than when it's wet. Find out how your watercolors behave by trying this yourself. For some extra splashes, dip your brush into the paint again and use your finger to spray the paint down, like this. You can use denser colors as well, mix up some more and add as much as you feel like. For bolder splashes, use a wet brush, let it soak up more paint and hold it above your paper. Then 